Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my Sephora VIB sale haul, which will of course be linked up in the cards if you missed it. I've had quite a while to thoroughly test out these products, get my feelings on them, and I'm ready to give you my reviews. So if that interests you, then just keep watching. I probably look a little dishe disheveled in this video because I, it is hot and I'm trying to pre-film because we have a family vacation for Canada Day weekend and I'm so excited and I'm ready to get back on track with this YouTube thing. I've been not on my A game lately. I want to start off with there was a discussion about the samples I chose which I don't even remember what the I believe the other one was a Juice Beauty but one of them was the Belief Moisture Balm and when I ordered my Sephora order, I did not do my due, due diligence, stuttering. I didn't check, I just assumed, and you know what they say when you assume, I assumed that Belief was cruelty free and they're not. Thank you to, I believe it was Rachel from Rachel Remarks that told me that Belief does sell in China and for me that is a no-go so I immediately put that aside for a family member um, when someone comes over with dry skin. I will give that to them because it was the moisture balm and I was going to use it in the winter when my skin is more dry but it's not cruelty free. I'm not even going to test it out to see if I like it which is like the purpose of samples isn't it? Um, so thank you Rachel if it was you. If it wasn't I'm so sorry I didn't check before filming this video because I'm unorganized. Anyways, let's get started with the products. I just have my sale slip here that came in my package and I'm just going to go in that order because it's easy. Um, but something that's not on the slip was this Briogeo Mystical Mini set because I did buy this before the Sephora VIB sale but I thought I'd share it in the haul anyways. This was 23 Canadian dollars I believe for two minis. The Briogeo Don't, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask and the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Now it was the exfoliating shampoo that I was super interested in because I have other containers of the deep conditioning mask, so I haven't opened this particular one. I have really fine hair, but it is damaged at the ends, and I do find this mask really makes my hair feel healthy and soft and nice. It is a bit heavy for my hair, but if I just put it in on an evening that I'm a night shower, so put it in early on in the evening when I know I'm going to be shampooing my hair that night, and I shampoo it out. It's not something that you leave in. It works out perfectly fine that way. I know some people that um, don't shampoo their hair very often and have thicker hair are able to use this deep conditioning mask as their conditioning step in the shower. I personally need to shampoo it out and I still find my hair is nice and soft after using this. Um, but if you have finer hair, that might be something to keep in mind. But as I was saying, it was the exfoliating shampoo that I was super interested in because I have a really oily, irritated scalp. Um, I don't shampoo my hair every day, even though I kind of feel like I should be just because my scalp is so oily. I've been trying to hair train my hair for five years now. I've only been washing hair every second day for five years. I used to be a daily shampooer. Um, and my hair still is oily for the second day. Um, so hair training just does not work for me before I get those comments. And my scalp is really irritated. Not like dandruffy, but it's itchy a lot of the time. Um, so I thought that a, an exfoliating shampoo, which I'd never tried before, would feel really nice. Now, I do think that this feels really great on the scalp. Like when you're really working it in, you can feel those exfoliating pieces. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but it says it helps remove dead skin and impurities from the scalp and hair. But I don't see what the scrubby bits are. Anyways, 
I really do. It feels so good. If you have an ir irritated, itchy scalp, I totally recommend this. I only use this on days where I'm just like constantly scratching at my head. I don't know if it's other products that are in my routine that does that to me, or I feel like sometimes it's even just the weather on really dry days. My scalp gets super itchy um, and it feels so good. However, the shampoo part of it, I really don't feel like this cleans my hair. Not only do I want to shampoo to get the scrubby pieces off again, but I feel like my hair just doesn't feel very great with this. It doesn't lather up or anything. I don't find Briochio products do because they are free from sulfates and phthalates and all of that stuff. This has a really yummy, like, is it mint chocolate or just like pepperminty? It's peppermint and something for sure. It feels really cooling on the scalp, so I really enjoy it for that. Would I pay the over 50 Canadian dollars for the full size? That I don't know. I still have a ton left. We're not there yet. I do enjoy using it, and it's the only exfoliating shampoo that I've ever heard of, let alone one that is maybe cruelty-free. Um, if there's a cheaper cruelty-free one, definitely let me know, and I can try that one out too. Yeah, it doesn't clean your hair very well, but it feels really good on the scalp. I guess that's that's my long review. Okay, next up on my list is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. This is in collaboration with Nicole Concilio. I don't watch her anymore, but that is who co-created this. I have loved the primer water for years. I always used the original, but I thought I would get the coconut one, and I'm not gonna lie, I really don't love the smell of this. It's less artificial and strong than like the butter bronzer, but it still just doesn't smell right to me. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I would have got a different scent or just the original one, but I still like the product that's in here. It still works the same as the primer water. I have really oily skin in the summer and I still like using this as a light hydration underneath my makeup. I feel like my makeup goes over top of this really well. It's good to refresh your makeup throughout the day. Um, I haven't used it as a setting spray because I really need setting sprays that will like lock things in and really reduce the powdery look and I don't feel like this quite does it for me as a setting spray but as a refreshing spray to spray it on maybe take a beauty blender and tap out any creases that sort of thing as well as a primer water this works really great the milk makeup kush lip balm I have the shade canna tonic I okay first off the packaging just gets me it's one of the magnetized I'll do that again for you love that the shade is just a really natural like berry pink kind of shade I guess I can swatch it it's right here so just a light natural type of color it's a tinted lip balm this is a good I've heard it's just Steph mentioned this as well this is a good maintenance type of lip balm if you enjoy applying lip balm on a daily basis this is the type of product you may really like. If you have chronically super dry lips or your lips are very chapped and in need of repair, this is not the product that you will be looking for. This is lightly hydrating, feels really nice on the lips. I love that it has a bit of a color to it. I really enjoy tinted lip balms on a daily basis. But like I said, if your lips are chapped, then this is not going to be what you are looking for. But as just a daily, super easy, yet hydrating lip product, I've really been enjoying this. And this is much cheaper than like a fresh lip balm or anything like that. Those aren't cruelty free, but just as a reference. So I'm happy I have it. Will I go purchase multiple and stash them everywhere like I used to do with like chapstick or something? No, but I'm happy I have it and I've been using this 
quite often. The Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This is the first time I'm trying Mario Badescu because it just recently, over the last couple of months or so, came into Sephora Canada and we don't have Ulta or anything here. So I didn't know where to buy this except for on Amazon and I couldn't be bothered. I love this. I want the other sense of it as well. I bought this with the intention of using it in my morning skincare routine because that I just like having a facial spray in my morning skincare routine. I feel like it helps wake me up. It just feels really nice. Does it have that many skincare benefits? I don't know. I just like the experience of it. But I've also started using this in the same way that I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And because of that, I don't think I'll repurchase the Smashbox anymore. And that's saying a lot because I love the Smashbox Primer Water, but I also love using this, applying it before my makeup. I love using this to refresh through the day, especially now that it's summer and it's hot outside. So I think that these are very comparable. And I'm really happy about it. I still grab this every once in a while for my morning skincare routine. My ensuite bathroom is right here. My vanity is over there. It's not that far to just grab it, but I have stuck this in my vanity um, as of recently, and I've really been enjoying it that way too. Okay, not really sure what happened there. My computer, which is my monitor, and the loud noise you hear in the background of my videos, just decided to do a full-on shutdown in the middle of filming with no warning. Anyways, I have three more products to review here for you. I'm going to talk about this next. You guys know I'm going cruelty free. I'm trying to do that through panning. And since my haul went up, Morphe has been taken off of the only cruelty free list that I ever found them on, which was Cruelty Free Kitty. They've never been on Logical Harmony because they haven't gotten back to her, but Cruelty Free Kitty has moved them off of her Cruelty Free list and onto the Brands to Avoid list. So I was going to return this, but honestly, I've used this almost every single day for over a month now, and I've heard that people go through these every two months or so. And I can definitely see that because this is feeling less than half full. So I really, I don't feel like I should just return it because you know what they do with return makeup, they throw it in the garbage. So I'm just going to use this up. Morphe is now no longer considered cruelty free. So I'm not going to recommend this to you or really review it. I like the aerosol can. It leaves me with a glowy finish and my makeup never looks powdery with it and I'm going to leave it at that. But that was really disappointing since I'm trying so hard to be cruelty free. And then halfway through testing this, that happens. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I don't know what that was. Two more things. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer for oily to combo skin with watermelon, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants. I've been using this every single day since I hauled it to thoroughly test it out. Like I said, it's been over, over a month now and with skincare, especially the skincare items, I wanted to make sure I tested it out really well for you. I love this. I think it is great for oily and combo skin. This is hydrating. It does have the hyaluronic acid in it. When I use this, my skin has a nice glow to it, but doesn't look greasy. I feel like my skin is nice and plumped up. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Like, could you ask for anything else? Even the box it comes in is adorable. This does say if you have dry skin, you can use it as well, but to use it more as a serum and top your regular moisturizer on top of this. And I feel like that would work great for you too. If you're looking for a really hydrating and like plumping type of product, like I have a lot of lines on my forehead and I feel like this just plumps them up a little bit. They don't look as deep. Like I've really been enjoying this. I will say though, 
in May, where I live, I live amongst a lot of lakes. The black flies are disgusting, like swarms. You can just see them moving, even if you look out the window. And I feel like when I wore this and I left like pretty soon after doing my skincare, because it, the scent does linger for a little while, they were just like come at my face. So I don't know if they could smell it, but that was a con. That wasn't fun. But other than that, like skincare wise, this is a really great product and I'm really happy with this purchase. I made this one kind of on a whim. I was looking for a moisturizer that was gel based that would be good for my oily skin in the summertime because I didn't have any in my arsenal that would work great. The others I have would be too heavy for me in the summer. And I didn't even look at the reviews really. I was kind of filtering through and I was looking at a couple and this one has um, 60 mils of product in it and the typical like regular standard size moisturizer has 50 mils and this is about the same price if maybe two dollars more than the others I was looking at for 10 mils of additional product so that's the only reason I bought this and just that it looked cool and I'm really happy with this purchase. If you have oily skin, I would definitely recommend checking it out. With skincare, you can always go get a sample to try if you're worried about that, but I really like it. Lastly, I have the Jouer Cosmetics Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I got mine in the shade Lace, which is like fair with neutral undertones, I believe. I have it on today. It is a bit too light and bright for me right now but I had with my low buy rules if I use up a concealer I can buy a concealer and the concealer I used up was of my winter shade so that's why I replaced it with another winter shade so now that I've tested it it can just go into my drawers until the fall but I am really enjoying this it is super high coverage probably one of the most high coverage concealers I have in my collection Maybe MAC Pro Longwear would be com um, comparable to this. MAC is not cruelty free. I have not tested those side by side, which I probably can't because the MAC one is in my summer shade. But it is high coverage without being thick. It does crease under my eyes. I have a lot of fine lines under here um, and my eyes are quite large. So I feel like they're just heavy. Um, and right here it creases. I have folds of my skin there. Like why wouldn't a product crease in there? It does crease, but it doesn't make me, it doesn't give me that really old crepey look that some concealers can, you know, when they crease like excessively, where they fall into lines that you didn't even know you had. This concealer does not do that. I do feel like it's relatively smoothing over my texture as well, which is great. The shade is great if you are fair with neutral undertone. Well, I have a neutral warm undertone, but I find warm tone concealers make look a little funny on my skin. So the shade Lace will work really well for me in the fall and winter time. And I'm really happy with this purchase. I was going back and forth between this one and the Too Faced Born This Way. But I ended up going with this one because I believe it was Samantha March. That said, this was like one of her top dog favorite ever concealers and I trust her recommendations a lot so that is why I bought this one and I am super happy with this purchase. If you are looking for a full coverage, can't get it back in there, if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, I would definitely recommend this. This was the first product I tried from Jouer and I'm really excited to try more from them. I'm considering trying the Essential High Coverage Foundation um, because if it is as full coverage and lightweight as the concealer is, then I think I would really like it because I don't find this to be full coverage and thick and cakey, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would totally recommend this product as well and that was Everything I bought during the Sephora VIB sale that I hauled over a month ago. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was requested from you that instead of me doing like first impressions and tossing them in here and there, that I just sit down, thoroughly test them out for a while, and then come back with my full reviews and recommendations or what not to buy, that sort of thing. I think pretty much everything I 
liked. I'm really disappointed that Morphe is no longer cruelty free and I'm really happy to, I don't know if I want to put like the dupe stamp on these products, but I think it's kind of ironic that I bought them at the same time and I'm now using them for the same purpose. When originally I wanted this to be skincare, this to be like makeup. But I would say if you are wanting the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, this is about 40 Canadian dollars. Just stick with the Mario Badescu. It's pretty much the same thing. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you picked up during the Sephora VIB sale and what your thoughts are. Now that you had time to thoroughly test them out, I would love to know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.